Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn how to create a date table and why do we need it. So we can create a date table by using DAX or we can uh, create the date table by using mQuery. Uh, or you can get the date table from your data source if it has one. Now why do we need it? So we need it because to have our report flawless and we wanted to see our visuals that uh, can compare week by week, year by year, quarter by quarter, month by month data. Okay. Now some of the tables in our data model can have their own dates. And if you use their, uh, their dates, uh, for report, then uh, your report will not be flawless because sometimes like sales table for holidays, it doesn't have a data for that holiday. So sales table does not have a continuous date in it. And so your report sometimes is kind of misleading. And so you need to have a one date table which has a continuous date and every table use that date table. So our report is like consistent. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the Power BI desktop so I can show you how we can create the date table uh, using DAX. And in next video, I will show you how to create a table, date table using M code. Okay. Now in this course, we didn't use a DAX yet. So I'm going to go slow so you can understand easily okay so from left pane i'm going to click on table view and i'm going to click on so from the menu bar on the table tools i'm going to click on new table so we have a now table created and i have a form formula bar here so my table uh, name is calendar so in a dax formula you have to give a name first. Either you are creating a column or a, or a table. Okay. So my table name is calendar and then after a space and is equal to, um, I can choose my DAX function. Okay. So I'm going to choose a calendar because we are creating a calendar. Now after writing this CAL, I have this IntelliSense, which guides me that what I wanted, what I can use. And it also after choosing the function, it will guide me. Okay. So that is a good help. Now, here we have a two functions, calendar and calendar auto. In a calendar function, let me show you. So now it's asking me that give me a start date and then end date, meaning if I use this function, then I have to give a manually start date, start date and end date for my report. Now I know in this case that my sales is between 2010 and 2013. So I can give my date here now, but in future, if I have a new data in the table, then I have to come back here and change it. Start date and end date. So I don't want it to do that manually. And so I'm going to use a calendar auto function. Calendar auto function uh, gets the date from your data and from minimum date and maximum date. And it gives like my data starts somewhere in 2010. So it this calendar auto function going to get a dates from 1st January of 2010. And then end is 2013. So this function is going to get a 31st December of 2013, which is good for me. Okay. Now calendar auto function, uh, takes fiscal year and month. So in some organization, they use their fiscal year as a July to J July to June. In that case, then fiscal year and month, meaning a six, which is June that you can give and if you give this way then it will start your year from 1st July and end will be uh, 30th June okay now in our case we don't we wanted to go by January to December year and so you can close this bracket without giving anything and enter 
and we have our date column ready now. I'm going to change the format of date. So by selecting it and you can change it from uh, here. So I'm going to use the short format. Okay. And now our date is, as I said, it's starting from 1st uh, January 2010. And if we check the descending, if I order from descending, then it's, then it's showing me uh, 31st December 2013. Okay. So this is good. Now you can add a new column here by clicking here like new column and you can give a new column formula in that column formula bar uh, formula bar okay so now you can give here a uh, year my column name is equal to and then i can use a format dex function uh, which going to give me uh, so it's asking me for value so my value is date date column always a column goes in a square bracket so i'm going to give a square bracket and it shows me that you have this column available do you want it to take it and yes and i'm gonna to uh, give uh, i have to give a format as well for the year okay and format or name always goes on double quote so double quote and my format is y y y y okay and I'm going to close my bracket and enter. Okay. So we have our year column is ready as well. Now this is the easiest way that, that you can keep adding columns in your date table. However, I wanted to have my all code in my table formula bar. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. I just showed you that you can do this as well. But I wanted to have my all code in a date column formula bar. Okay. So I'm going to show that way. So now we are back to our date column. And I'm going to add column here. So to add a column just after is equal to, I'm going to write add. So it gives me uh, a functions and I'm going to select add columns. Okay. And after two. Okay, it chose two times. So I'm I choose add column and in a bracket I'm going to leave this auto calendar uh, calendar auto function. I am going to give at the end comma because I wanted to write my second my next code in a second line. So after this I'm going to uh, click on shift and enter so I can have this second line. Okay. Now I'm going to write a second column code, which is year column. So again, name I'm, I'm going to give in a double quote. So double quote and column name is year. And then comma. And again, I'm going to use a format function as same as last time. And I'm going to give my column name in a square bracket, date, and then I'm going to write a comma and I have to give a format, okay, for year. So in double quote, Y, 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 and I'm going to close bracket, okay. So now we have our year column ready. Now I'm going to put it my cursor just before a last bracket and I'm going to uh, hold shift key and enter and I'm going to keep adding few more columns here okay so at the end I have to give a comma and then in next line I'm going to uh, have my month column now the column name is month uh, and then comma and again I'm going to use a format function so it's going to format my date columns in square bracket and after giving a comma I have to give a format in double quote so that and my month I'm, I need I want a full month name so M M M M and I'm going to close that bracket 
and enter. Okay, so now we have month column as well. So again, I'm going back to the last line, put it comma here and shift enter. And then in double quote, my third column name is quarter. So QTR and comma and I'm going to use a quarter function. So after just writing a Q, I have a function ready here, quarter. And I'm going to give again my date column in that and just that. Okay. And enter. Okay. So we have now our quarter column ready as well. I am just going to put it a comma at the end and in for new line shift and enter and I'm going to give my new column name which is month number. So month number and comma and for that I'm going to use a month function. Okay. So my month function and I'm going to give my date column here again. Okay, so that I'm going to close bracket and enter. Okay, so now we have month number as well. So just after the last line, I'm going to put it comma, shift enter, and then in double quote again, my last column name is week number. So week number, my column name, comma, and I'm going to use a function week num, which gives a week number. And again, it's asking for a date. So I'm going to give a column date and close my bracket and enter. Okay, so now we have all the columns in my um, calendar um, table. I'm going to uh, just, okay, so now we, what we need to do is go back to the uh, table tool and mark this table as a date table. So you can find that under the table tools and calendar. So click on mark as a date table and select that mark as date date table and then date column which is our date column okay and okay so this table is now officially date table in our data model which has all the column date month month number quarter week number and year okay so this is all about uh, how you can create your um, date uh, table uh, by DAX um, and as I said that uh, I'm going to show how to how you can create your date table using M code in my next video. Um, if you like the content guys then please like share comment and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.